How's it going, everybody? It's Man Jamar here. I am back in the house. Make sure you hit the like button upon coming in. I forgot I was in the central time zone for some reason when I set up the actual show. But we're going to get this thing underway uh, right now because this is a very important uh, subject. What's going on on Top Dog, not a MGTOW, and uh, not a Black? Okay, Halton, give people a minute to come in here. Uh, while well, we're waiting on people to get in here for like a minute. Um, the reason why this needs to be discussed is because people have no originality around here. What's going on, B-Boz and uh, Shiva here? And you have to realize that whenever there becomes a new option for somebody to do something, all the people who never deserve extra chances in life become the people who run in and actually become part of the actual group that want those new chances and options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a couple lists and different groups of people who is actually doing this. Going on, uh, running the song and, and more red pill eighty one. Make sure you hit the like button before I'm coming in here because this needs to be discussed. So that way we can stop having these uh, inner argument uh, conversation pieces. I don't believe in bullshit like content strategy or any of that other shit. If you're throwing other people under the bus that don't need to be there, that's something that you have to solve on your own because Passport Bros and SYSBM ain't going after nobody. Nobody. All this attention on, this was always an answer to a question, new inventory. There was no, what's going on better than that? Like, there's no way you can be able to argue with new inventory as a solution. Mary Bird, thank you for the twenty dollars super chat. Let me get this real quick. Yes, it needs to be addressed. Next time we're mainstream, but now it's considered a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center. The dating coaches are having the field day. Edward and Rallo are on seven, but not helping cause I don't know what on seven is I, I don't know what that means but yes and this is why you don't make talking about women as part of your group hold on a second let's help these uh, individuals out I got a better one than um, that that one better black so what we're gonna do is we're gonna help these individuals it's called Tampa Supreme we're going to help these individuals out. So now we have a new slogan. It's called XL Pro. You don't want to travel. S-Y-A-I-A. Stay your ass in America. Leave us alone. And keep our movement out of your mouth. Listen, you have a lot of things to fix here domestically. And there ain't no way that you're going to jump over fixing your women to complain about men who are not even dealing with your women. This is why Passport Bros, for the most part, and that's why it's BM for the most part, are not trolling women. We don't have any need or use for trolling women. There's no need for that. If you're not going to be dealing with a group of people, you don't deal with the group of people. How hard is that? How hard is that? Listen, if you're staying, you have more access to what you wanted. And that has nothing to do with our movement. Remember, this move, these movements have been around for five plus years. Five years. Yeah, just stay your ass in America. No problem. What's going on with the gong? Uh, actually, I like the video part coming in. So, you have to understand with the recent rise of, you know, um, I forgot to do his name. But you have to understand that A lot of people are going to try to take established movements and run with them. And that's not really our fault. We don't need to go get incorporated, set up a leadership structure and systems. You should be able to do the research about the actual group that you're actually a part of. And actually know who's been doing what content forever. I'm just going to name four or five people that I know of that's been here for five years or longer. Um, no excuses, ENT. He has a great channel. Black Man Travels also have a great channel. 
Yes, Brazil also has a great channel. Uh, Brother Ohim, the Crypto Gang podcast, also has a great channel. Now, I'm going to use these guys as a standard bearer along with myself. When you're listening to actual uh, Crazy and Friends, thank you for the two dollar uh, super chat. Shout out MOT. Yeah, thanks. JR, what's going on, man? So when you're actually listening to any of these guys, if you look through their content, they're not even, a, for the most part, and I'm talking about over 99%, for the most part, they're not even addressing the women at all. Because there's no need to address them if you've already found a solution. And the solution involved leaving certain people alone and being able to explore your options everywhere else. Because. All right, JR. Thanks, man. <laughs> What's going on, Zach? All right. So let's get into it. The reason why this needs to happen is because when you go to TikTok and you type in Passport Bros or SYSDM. When you go to TikTok, you see the majority of people who don't give any type of content to the actual work and actually think that showing off women is the actual reason why we're going over there. That's not the reason why we're going anywhere. The reason why we're going over there is to have a different cultural experience for where we're going. Uh, thanks for coming through. Does it involve women? Yes, but involves culture, involves food, involves business, involves all types of other stuff. So, for the people, the majority of the people online, like there's different classes and groups of people, and I'm going to go over them. Because I think there's five or six different classes of people where we are. But I'm going to talk about the the last group that I'm going to name is going to be the highest group of people. So the first group of people is the group that I'm part of. The people who loudly represent and privately practice. I loudly represent it and I privately practice it. You don't see me trolling women. You don't see me showing off women. You don't see me doing any of this matriarchal stuff. You don't see me making or trying to troll dudes who have decided to stay. Hey, they have the free disposition to do whatever they want to. I'm just doing whatever I want to with my free disposition. And yes, Passport Bros and SYSBM don't need any actual new representatives of the movement. Remember, five years ago, you guys was over there on another channel uh watching another guy diss our complete movement to our faces and you said nothing to help out with it uh a year ago what is his name the uh the free agent lifestyle dude was calling us clowns and crazy or something's wrong with our masculinity or we're lacking in our masculinity because we don't want to deal with a bad product of people now a year later somehow they turn around and somehow they're okay with the movement Like I said, I believe in people being able to get their freedom however they get it. And I'm not even against people actually staying. So the next group of people, probably the most problematic group of people, are the people who loudly represent and the people who don't privately practice. Here's the thing. I'm an atheist. I was raised by fundamentalist Christian parents. You would never, to the ever, find me disrespecting the Christian faith. Why? Because I was raised culturally in a Christian household. And I know how angry those people get, even though they're very dogmatic to others, about questioning or trying to humiliate them over their faith. So, even me, as a person, who doesn't believe in Christianity, I have enough sense not to go around trying to 
slander people who are Christian. Why? Because I respect people's freedom of ability to practice their own faith. I understand the limits of my actual position as an American citizen and how much control or lack thereof that I have over other people who practice something that's different. It's no different than anything else. We don't need anybody representing the actual group or trying to be a mouthpiece for our actual group or saying that they understand or that they believe in our actual group. It seems that everybody is having conversations about our group to everyone else but the people who are actually part of the group. Nobody is calling us up. Nobody is bringing us on to actually, well, outside of Ramil and probably Thai City. But, and most of these people I don't want to talk to, and I'm going to go into that as well. So you have to realize that if you have the right answer to a question, there's really no need to argue with something because you're arguing from a position of power where somebody else is just arguing from a position of weakness and trolling and other types of nonsense. Yes, trying to find the worst person in the worst position traveling to another country and just assigning those people passport bro status or SYSBM status, it's just something that we shouldn't even be doing around here. Because there are no, there is no end to the amount of men who are suffering the consequences in this society on a nearly daily basis by trying to deal with people here domestically. While it is covered by some people, there is a lot of individuals who don't set up whole channels based on trolling other people. And that's the thing. And, and the type of world that I want to live in it's the type of world that I treat people with. Apparently, they get to tell us to don't talk about their women. And then they talk mad-ish about us while they stay here and they deal with the same women. So they want us to keep our mouths closed, but then they want the free access and ability to just slander us like there's no tomorrow. Say it again, no excuses. We don't talk about the women like that. We don't have to. And so the third group of people are the majority of the people who don't represent anything. Are the third group of people. The people who are doing the same thing but have moved on completely. The people who found happiness within other cultures and have healthy relationships, they're not even online. They're not even talking about what they're doing. They have just moved on with their lives completely. But the people who actually have done this stuff the wrong way are going to be the loudest voices in the room. You're going to have people jumping up on panels trying to actually defend the things that are actually going on and whatnot, and they're not going to be represented very well. But these are the things that are actually going on here. Mm, no, he isn't. He is the people who don't know anything about the group. I mean, he's a younger dude, man. I mean, his, his group has already moved on from this. But um, I'm just saying this. We still got to keep our mind on getting skills and abilities. We got to keep our mind on getting skills and abilities. The skills and abilities piece is what's actually going to help you travel. It's going to actually keep you 
over there while you're over there. And I don't care whether people go over there and come back, go over there and do business and come back, go over there, get a get get somebody of another culture and bring them back. I don't care. I want these people to have the freedom to be able to do whatever they want to. Because the same people who got all this smoke for passport bros, they really have no movement, no kind of information or smoke for actual women who've been traveling for a hell of a lot longer than men have. I've seen them other places. I know what they're doing out there. Don't care. I am indifferent. There's a lot of women that I know that I do business with who actually travel and do a whole bunch of stuff. But what you have to realize and understand is this was not meant to be a. That means that you should uh, actually talk to that dude about uh, using your brand name if they're not going to give any um, credence to the actual group itself and just want to just run with the brand and just do all type of other stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. But that's currently where we're currently at right now. It was not meant to be a mainstream group because if you look at mainstream America itself, most of mainstream American people don't have their stuff together to actually travel anywhere. Like most people within the United States don't even leave the city that they're in. They stay in one city their entire life. Of course I do. I never even talk about it at all because I don't even care at all. Roy Shea, thanks for coming through. Uh, Taboo Smash is funny when men. Hold on a second. It's funny when men travel, they, they are in a serious scrutiny, but when the women do it, nobody cares. The business of dating is seriously compromised because of it. Yeah. You have to realize that they're not even criticizing the, the women here for the outcomes that they have for the community. But somehow we have to be held to a type of standard that no one else is held to. My thing is, I just want an actual household that goes into a direction to which I can control. I'm very upfront and honest about that. I don't think I could trust anybody for the most part in this environment to actually give me that. Because I don't think most people within this environment have the cultural training of trying to stick by somebody for that long period of time. And you have men, not the women, who come out and defend her system all the time. That has to be a separate live stream by itself. The modern man, the Bravo Alpha November, the secret member of the gynocracy that people just don't focus on. And I'm going to go down a whole list of things that alert people on what the Bravo Alpha November is. What's going on, Howard Group? What's going on, Ike? So what you have to understand is that um, it's not meant to be mainstream because most people didn't travel. Like, when I was in the military, this is before I had a government contract in Germany, like years later, like maybe seven years ago. When I first went to Germany in the late 90s, I could probably count on my hand in an 800 person cop unit that was on Ramstein Air Force Base, and people living in the dorm 2102, if you ever stationed over there, that's the cop dorm over there. And it's still the cop dorm over there from what I understand from when I visited there a couple of years ago. Out of 800 people, there probably was, I'm gonna say 30 cops that were black, period. I'm talking about period. 30. 30 out of 800 isn't that large of a number. And that really wasn't that many other black people in all these other units as well. So mostly, since we worked a gang of hours, we normally hung out with each other. You know, we play Xbox. Well, there was no Xbox back then, but PlayStation and uh, Nintendo 64 in each other's rooms and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. There wasn't really that many people over there. And this is just military. And then if you add in the civilians, 
there probably was a smattering of 75 people out of, uh, I don't know, three or 4,000 people who actually worked on the base. So then, our numbers are even smaller than that. So there's not this big, grand group of people who was even over in Germany. Now, I went to uh, Spangalum, which is closed now, Air Force Base, and there was even a, a smaller population of people. So I'm checking for you. So, 3% of people over in that environment, and you have to understand, within those dorms, most people didn't leave the dorms. Most people didn't even travel when they was over there. You could go to the bowling alley, and you can jump on a bus, and it would take you to a different city in a different country every single weekend for free. Of course we all want because it's the correct answer. And you still had people who wouldn't even leave the dorms to get on a bus to go to another place that was free. The only thing they wanted to do was stay in the dorms and play video games exclusively and not do anything else. So you have to understand, it was very a, a very small group of people that was over there. A very small group of people that was over there. So you have to understand that when people are actually talking about SYS being the passport bros, they're only doing it to spite or actually um, spurn or troll the women who are here mostly within the environment. Because our that's how your stuff gets turned into a hate group, is when... You have a public voice, and your exclusivity among your public voice means talk exclusively about the women, like they're going to change or something. Charles Merchant, what's going on? Thanks for coming through. Uh, Tablet Smash with the file on Super Chat. You're right, the most important part of the product, product part, have a job remote, you know how to manage your money, and keep it to yourself. Yes, all three of those things. Because if the only actual experience that you ever had was being around bottom barrel people and you move yourself to another environment and you don't change the way you act and you don't change your associations, you eventually rebuild the same problem that you built at home in another place. I can't tell you how many times that I had to be a consultant to stop people from gang banging in the damn dorms overseas in the military. At the go, be contracted to go over there to tell them to get out and do something else other than gang bang in the dormitory. I'm talking about, yes, it's a huge problem over there, believe it or not. Because these are the people who would normally be in these communities in the United States. You, you put them on a plane, you flew them eight hours to another place to work, and guess what? They acted just the same as they would normally act at home. The majority of people while over there in another country didn't really go anywhere. They didn't really go any, anywhere. And here's the thing. If you want an actual radius, me, it's 100 miles. 100 miles away from a port of entry or an airport is where you're going to experience the real culture. And I'm talking about away from military bases and everything else. That's always been my rule. That's when you get to see the real country. Say it again. They don't even know it. They have no idea. Yep. I've been there too. Cool sign. That's how I got back to uh, Buckley Air Force Base was Coastline. But you guys have got to realize it was not meant to be a mainstream movement. It was meant to be an individual choice, an individual answer among all the other answers that are here. And yes, for other people, staying is an answer for them. Some of these people did find a decent human being, whether they was in high school or whatever the circumstances were. Some people actually did. What's going on? They're alone. The real one. Yes, a lot of people did come through here and did find some anomalistic circumstances where things worked out for them. But you have to realize 
that those anomalistic circumstances shouldn't be held against other men who have not found the same level of happiness within the same environment. Oh, RD, thanks for the five dollars super chat. I haven't seen you here before. I was stationed in Japan for four years. A few of us went out and explored, but most brothers stayed in the base trying to game American women from the ship. You are 100% correct. Most of those men who went overseas who were stationed there. They were the ones getting taken full advantage of by the American women that had to be in shape, but they didn't have to mess with anybody because they had so many options over there. Again, I'm not lying. This dude was in um, <laughs> Japan, and he saw the same thing that I saw in Germany. The same thing. Thank you for the final Super Chat. Dude, I'm telling you, man, a lot of people stayed in the dorms, never went anywhere. A lot of people took that delivery. Yeah, Popeye's actually delivered on Ramstein. That's what I liked about it. <laughs> Popeye's delivered. Yeah, no problem, man. You know, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it, keep, keep it up, man. You know, before people just start coming through and start just taking things away when I got all these live streams up. So you have to understand that. The grand majority of those people was exactly what they do said. They didn't venture out. They didn't say anything. Yes. What's going on, Hazel? John told Clutch for the $10 Super Chat. Thank you for saying change your mindset before leaving America. That's my only issue with passport bros. Most of them still have that urban mindset. That's what ruins the sewer where I currently am. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And, I'm, okay, so the next portion that I was going to talk about right on time with Zanto's Clutch is the changing your mindset. And I'm not going to lie. And it's something that you need to understand. If you, for the most part, deal with domestic women here, you have to act and they behave a certain way to attract them or keep them around you. I'm going to say that again. In order to attract and be around domestic women, regardless of where you think so or not, you're going to have to act and behave a certain way to have them around you. And the way that you normally act to have them around you is not going to be the way other places are going to receive you very well. Because you have to understand when you go other places, you are of another culture. They only know the people who came before you. You don't, they are less likely to take a chance on you. Character comes into play. Track record comes into play. All types of things come into play. But if you're not used to being around grown men who don't have to act like a clown to actually force the women to pay attention to you, you're not going to be able to make it in other cultures and other societies. Man, I don't even care. I, I don't even care. As long as they get there, as long as they have a different experience. But you have to understand that um, where you quote-unquote have freedom, they have no tolerance for you stepping out of line. When you go to another country, you really don't, they really don't have any tolerance for letting your ass offline. They're not going to play any games with you. Because the rule was in the military, if you make armed forces news or radio, you're taking your ass to prison. If you embarrass America in any shape, way, form, or fashion where your ass is on armed forces radio or the news, you're going to prison, period. That's another thing that people don't uh, talk about. And, oh, yes, it happens in the Air Force, too. Yeah, when them people went over to Saudi Arabia, yep, AFN. Yep, when those people went over to Saudi Arabia and in some of those places that they never wanted to leave because they were the only women that were there 
and around, and there was like probably 1% of the population, and most of those women wanted to stay over in those environments specifically because they had the, we call them desert queens, where uh, if there are no women around, all of a sudden they look super good if they're the only women around. Yeah, crazy. Again, I'm glad they're having the experience. I just hope they don't do anything illegal to mess up the experience for anybody else going over there. OF, what, what does OF mean? So what you guys have got to understand is that this has never been to be a mainstream movement. And you have to understand that you have to change your mind state before you start dealing with different things or while you're dealing with the same things that are here. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, that, yes, yes, a lot of, them. yes, a lot of. Them. So you guys have got to get this, that you're still going to have to put the productivity piece first. You're still going to have to put yourself in position to be working for these contractors overseas, no matter what country it is. You are correct. Once they run the hell out of you for about for, for about two months on end and force you to eat nothing but healthy food, yeah, things start looking great. They come in sloppy, but they don't look that way after a couple months. And you have to realize that you are constantly supposed to be progressing no matter what you're actually doing. You should be progressing no matter what you're actually doing. I can't imagine keeping my same mind state that I had even when I left Mississippi at 17 years old. I left graduation night and went straight to the Air Force. I wasn't wasting no time getting fired there. But every time I go home, I still see people with the same mind state that they had 25 years ago when I left, when I first left. I still have people with the same 25-year mindset that never really changed. You got so much opportunity out there, but you have to understand, internet down there is considered a luxury item. So most people are going to be in the position of representing groups that they don't produce content for. you never seen these people produce content for Passport Bros or SYSBM. You've never seen that. Now, they want to cloud chase off of our name when it's convenient for them. But then they want to have this sort of idea to where they have this unified level of masculinity where people who don't deserve second chances, people who are currently doing things wrong, and people who've never done things wrong are all going to be in the same group of people doing the same thing. I disagree with that. I disagree with just trying to be cool with everybody. That ain't something that men actually do. That's something that women actually do because they ain't got enough ability to fight on any other level. So that's why they have to act like that. It shouldn't be a man's job to try to tolerate every type of man's nonsense and track record around him. I think that's a problem. And that's why you continue to have problems because you have people who rehab these individuals who don't deserve second chances in life. And if you offer an option for people to have instant redemption, those are going to be the first people in line. The people who don't deserve second chances. But all in all, it's going to be up to you to put yourself in the best position. You got to put yourself in the best position. And that is something that everybody can do. We got to be able to move up. You got new people coming in every day showing that the people who've been living here their whole lives have been doing not enough of this American opportunity that they've had. You have to understand that most people today have nothing to sell you but victimhood. 
because they haven't accomplished anything in life. And their actual paycheck is actually dependent on you not progressing. It's fully pro dependent on you paying attention to entertainment. It's fully dependent on you trying out entertainment in your real life. It's actually sound advice. Again, for the dating coaches and all these people who want to stay, it's a very simple proclamation. You cannot sell subjective experience to your own life as lived experience to someone else. Now, if people don't know how to evaluate information, they normally believe the first thing that come to them, which is obviously going to be the wrong answer. Because a lot of these people actually think that they actually have to deal with this situation before they go to a better situation for them. I'm telling you that that's not the case. If you know the difference between chuck wagons and filet mignon, one of them is bacon wrapped around a piece of expensive meat, and one is a piece of bacon wrapped around hamburger meat. Now, you could go to any restaurant, especially a high-class steak restaurant, and order the filet mignon. Never would they allow for someone to sell chuck wagons on the same menu as a filet mignon at a decent steak restaurant. That's the whole point. When you go into a different environment, you have to learn how to deal with those things that are there. You can't take your old habits to a new environment. Those things are probably just not even going to work in a new environment where you actually go. Listen, it's their job and it's their ability to be available when you need them. If they are not available at the time that you actually need them, then you have to move on to different inventory. Your actual behavior toward an inventory that is bad is not going to change the actual inventory. If you know that the bread is molded, there's no matter how much you're praying and how much you're hoping that you're actually dealing with. It's not going to change the fact that there is something initially wrong with the product that you're with. And it's not because you don't have access to the product, which is the reason why you're talking about said product. But it's up to you to solve this problem on your own without them around. Because a lot of people are going to try these self-esteem based ploys and all of these um, trolling type of tactics and try to clown you to try to get you to play the old game in the old system. Now, I've never been to Australia. I know somebody probably has. So what you guys have got to understand that this is not about trolling women. It is about having a better outcome for self. It is about building a stable household and to establish peace for yourself, not no one else. Because another thing that people do, which is which is not why you're not SYSBM or Passport Bro, is the moment that you get your stuff together, you try to show it off in front of the women who's not going to benefit off of it. That's also something that you don't need to be doing. It's part of these two movements that I represent. Now, if you want to be a dude that travels and do all this crazy stuff, fine. Go do all that stuff. Just don't call yourself SYSBM or Passport Bros while doing so. Those are established brands. Those brands belong to people. You should be able to pay some type of homage or give some type of shout out to these people who are part of these established groups. What you don't do is just pick up a name because it sounds cool and call yourself jumping on panels and representing this stuff. You need to have a body of work about the actual subject that's not trolling women that is specifically about the mind state that's going to keep your ass over there and put you over there and other things. 
Come on, Anton Bailey. I, I, I don't think that's the case. I, I don't think that's the case. I, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I, I really don't think that's the case. I hope that's not the case, but you know he's a he's a content vulture, so it it, it would it, it is what it is. You know, just don't preset your live streams. You'll you'll do all your content. Trust me. So what you guys have got to get uh, out of this is you got to get the best experience and the best outcome for yourself out of this. The reason why these people have to do this is because lying about how much ass you get domestically versus actually traveling and getting some. Yeah, it's a viable concept. <laughs> it's a viable concept. I'm not telling you what to do while you're doing there. Whatever you can do over there, you can do over here. It's just a different environment. It's a different cultural experience. It's it's a different area where you can actually see men work together and get things done. What's going on, Jonathan? Jonathan. Nah, nah, I don't think so. No, you had like these pretend ass pookies come here and try to uh, garner a name off the uh, discontent of people who took charge that they should have took because they wanted to boost their credibility with the local women within the environment. So they took felonies and charges that they shouldn't have took. And, and it turns out that shit didn't work out for them. No, you got that going on. But no. I mean, but the words have been out on these fakes and frauds who are, who are going places, and I'm whacking these dudes like whack a mole whenever I see them in other spaces and things like that. Because you have to understand, man, that most of these people, most of them, are just social chameleons. They're not, they're not trying to bring any value to the actual subject at hand. Most of these people have messed up every other place that they've been to, and the only thing they could do is just take over brands that they have nothing to do with. I personally see nothing wrong with people traveling. Like I don't see anything wrong with people staying. However, hey man, it's all that or none of that. You can do whatever you want to as a dude. But like I said, man, you, you're always going to have these dudes come through who are going to try to hijack a movement. That's what they are. The social chameleons took over the manosphere and it turned it from a place from actual education to edutainment to <laughs> entertainment because they didn't want to do the work. But hey, I want these people to have the freedom to do whatever they want to. Yeah. You know, just call yourself a travel mackle or pookie passport because the other verifiable groups are. That's the other thing. A lot of these dudes can't leave. I understand why they can't leave. Child support. We got the uh, back taxes. Or they got felonies, and maybe they can't travel to some countries or another. I get it. It makes sense. Yeah. Once people, once people understand the freedom aspect of it, and actually going to actual cultures that don't have all the actual. Um, Things that we have with it, yeah, man, it's 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 already mainstream among people who are twenty five or below. But hey, that's on them. That is on them. You know, if, if they want to do that, that's on them. But you have to understand that increased choice shows your level of actual value. 
A lot of people can't handle choice. They don't need it. They don't respect it. But at the end of the day, people are going to do what they're going to do with their own choices. I just don't want you stuck in a bad situation waiting on somebody to choose you. It sounds very stupid getting chose by a woman right now. It, it sounds pretty dumb, given the actual child support and choosing signals legislation that pretty much says a woman could just pick you out of the crowd and like, yeah, that's the person who's going to be paying child support for you. Because it's a definite answer that involve that, that doesn't involve courses. It's a definite answer that doesn't involve courses or dealing with the same level of inventory. If the inventory is a problem, why would you learn more coping mechanisms to deal with the same inventory? Hey, listen, you have to let them do their thing. Uh, a lot of these women are starting to being thrown off of TikTok, too, for being anti-black men. Because the Chinese don't play that shit. Yeah, a lot of these women are getting thrown off TikTok, too. We're talking all this anti-black male nonsense. Like, yeah, they, they don't even allow that stuff. But, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't hit everybody. But it, it's starting to pick up. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. Especially pretending to be a dating coach with no real results. I mean, I, I don't see why the top guy get as much shit that he get. He's part of the same fraudulent ass career field as the rest of these dudes. Even though I'm a Patreon. Just to see what these people say next. But you guys have, have got to understand it's your responsibility to go out here and find the best solutions and circumstances for yourself. Nobody is going to do that for you, man. Actually, the people who's trying to do it for you are the actual dating coaches. And when Steve Dean was on um, or in, in Ramil's track talking about it's a growing industry. Yeah, it's a growing industry. Fraud is always a growing industry. Until they actually put your ass under a deposition and make you explain your actual qualification to be a dating coach, that's when the shit's going to be shut down. And until that happens, because it will happen, one of these dudes cracked the hell out, wasted all their money, did all this stuff, get no results, end up going on some type of spree hurting people. Yes, they're going to figure out, wait a minute, what made this dude so upset? Okay. He grew up in this type of situation. Oh, he tried to get out of this situation by doing this. That's when they're going to go after these dudes. But at the end of the day, they tied their actual long-term viability to men's long-term planning and failure. They've tied themselves into feeding as many men is it humanly possible into these women's arms? Dating coaches are not your friends. Dating coaches love feeding you to these actual people. Women love dating coaches because the game is all about them. They get the most out of game. Okay, you get short-term sexual access with game, but they get long-term overall control over your life with the state's help from you wanting access sexually to them. Does that sound like an equal deal to you? It doesn't sound like an equal deal to me. There ain't enough trolling in the world that's not going to get me to not see what's going on there. If you really think that you're short-term benefiting off of trying to game a woman out of temporary sex, then all right, man, that's going to be on you. But you got a lot of these people who pile into the manuscript after deliberately messing up their lives over falling for such nonsense. Yes. The same way that there's not a, that uh, there would be a growing trend of actual poison ivy if people just started farming poison ivy. Yeah, that's what that would be. 
uh, Original D, uh, thanks for coming through. I don't think I've seen you here before. Just wanted to say what's up and much respect. Salute to the panel as well. Yeah, what's going on? Eric Bird again for the $10 super chat. Now these goofballs are shaming blue collar men, not shaming even janitors. Bro, listen, man. <laughs> I'm a custodian getting attention from immigrant women and white women with money. Listen, man. Dude, do you know how much custodians get paid to clean up those offices for the federal government? Those, get, those people get paid 85 and $90 an hour the whole day sitting there cleaning up the actual building. You have to understand this. If these people don't understand blue-collar productivity, why the hell would you reward them with the benefits of your labor? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. But I'm just saying this. Go get the best results for yourself. Hey, my mother made it pretty, pretty clear to me. If they're not with you by the time you graduate school, you better not put them on your damn team. The worst time to help people is when they actually need help. They need to be there during the entire process. Because if they can ride the high tide of going from successful guy to successful guy, and they weren't there trying to help this guy build anything, then screw them. They're not on your team. They're not on your team. They're not on your team. It's going on, share with the hour. They're not on your team. It's going on, fast, fast attack, tough, six, eight, eight, nine. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to give you practical solutions here. I'm not trying to change your mind. You know where you're going to be at. You know what inventory you're going to settle for. I'm just saying this. I want you to be smart about how you do this stuff. Okay? I don't want you going out here making a damn fool out of yourself and needing extra help for stuff that you actually did. Again, thanks for the fire on Super Chat. Exactly. Black man, particularly in this space, not throwing shade at blue collar men, even the founding fathers. Dude, they were throwing shade at blue collar men back in the Obsidian days five years ago. And somehow, blue collar men were betas or, or some dumb ass thing. For whatever they said. Oh, no, that's why they stay here, man. That's why they stay here. That is why they stay here. And I don't have a problem with that. I want them to go out and get as much as in, in humanly possible. But if you could just walk up and get all this access and all this stuff, which I don't think you can, if you got celebrities getting turned down by basic looking women, but you got dudes online claiming that they're getting all the women, so uh, come on. Well, I don't think that they're blue collar uh, black girls because they take time to get into a career field. And these people are not going to stop that long or that much in order to get in any type of long term job or career. Field. Everything is about a hustle or a quick fix or a quick hit. They're never about making sure that these things work right. What you guys have got to understand that none of this stuff is about trolling women, man. If you don't want to deal with them, then don't live deal with them. Because here's the thing. If the women don't want to deal with you, they ain't checking for you either. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Everybody's here to get a specific outcome that's good for them. Yeah. And uh, <sighs> there's going to be those people who act a fool when they go overseas. And I'm not for them not getting locked up. If you take your ass somewhere else and you don't know how to act, they're going to lock your ass up. 
And no, you shouldn't expect no help from anybody in, in America. When you take your ass over there, you get locked up. You have to know the laws and the rules where you go. And it's not everybody else's fault when you can't simply look up or research whether things are legal or illegal before they come through. Yeah, like, that's where I go. Yeah. Like, I always fly from San Antonio to Mexico. I never tried flying out of Dallas or Austin or anywhere else. I've only flown out of San Antonio. Listen, man, you can break conditioning. You can break conditioning. Dude, I had a lot of dumb ass shit wrong with me when I left Mississippi. I had to get rid of all that stuff to make it inside of these environments that I was at. Yes. One, I could barely speak English. Two, it's just just a whole bunch of stuff that I had a problem with. But I had to want to break it. I had to want to be able to get myself out of the situation. I wasn't expecting nobody to do it for me. That's what I'm saying, man. We don't need the criminal element being part of the travel situation. You being a criminal is something that happened before you actually travel. All that illegal stuff that you're doing, stay your ass here. Stay your ass in America. That's why you stay out of places like that, man. That's why that's why I never really messed around with Tijuana and, and all this. I, I've never done that. I'm not even getting caught up in some billion dollar industry of pushing some nonsense, man. So I'm gonna drop the link in the chat, see who comes up. If nobody comes up, I'm gonna roll out, man. But you have to understand that these are not mainstream movements. Everybody mainstream don't have their stuff together. I know what people are doing when they work for the federal government in the military when they went over there. It was told by several different people. I was in the Air Force and I went back over there for uh, a government contract. Another guy said that he was in Japan and most of these people just stayed in the dorm. Yeah, most of these people just stayed in the dorm and game banging and stuff. Real dumb stuff. Yeah. Russia is not a place where you go and act a fool at, man. That, that, that's not that's not a place where you go. Hey, what's going on, man? My name is Malcolm Tate from Memphis, Tennessee. I live at 4832 Craig. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know what's up with these dudes. I don't know, man, but these are the type of black men you have here. You think I want these dumbass niggas fucking around me, fucking my shit up? Hell no. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But that's where we at, man. Um, a lot of these dudes, they don't know how to act around men. That That's crazy. No, man, but a lot of people did do that, though. Man, I, I don't even worry about them dudes, man. I don't even worry about it at all. I don't worry about it at all. I want people to win. I want men to win. I want women to win. I want all these people to win. As you can see, my message sounds a hell of a lot different than a hell of a lot of, a lot of these other dudes, man. I don't have time for that shit. No, no, no. That's cool, man. That That's cool, man. Don't, don't even worry about it. Oh, yeah, man. I ain't never going to Juarez, dude, for nothing. I ain't going to Juarez for nothing. Hold on a second. Original D. I got a Kenworth 1989 T600 bought for mid-team. What? How did you 
find one of those in the shop, get the road ready, slow and steady race, but I get there. I'll be in the shadows when listening to knowledge when we drop spirit. Hey man, so uh do you have your own authority or are you trying to own or operate for an for a company. See, this guy right here bought a truck the right way. Your first truck should be 100% cash. You get it fixed up and you put it on the road. I do not support going out here and getting a payment for your first truck. That's crazy. I would never do that. Congratulations to that guy, man. That guy's about to make a lot of money, and I'm happy as hell for him. Exactly. To be honest, if they have an American mindset, I'm off with the baby's kids staying here. Yeah, man. But, like, a lot of these dudes who don't have good intentions are going to be the people who's going to mess it up for travel dudes. And these people are going to be criminal delinquents no matter what situation that they're in, whether they stay or whether they go. They still going to be a problem. I make it a point to never be around these people, to never be around these people. I don't want to be anywhere around these people. Yes, we need to save ourselves from most of these dumbass dudes around here. Like, dude, most of these dudes are, are, are so matriarchal and gynocratic. Like, like, dude, like, when you go to other places, you can be around other men you can actually work with. It's sad to say, but yes, you can actually deal with men. Like when I go in the Arab circles or the India from Indian circles, we go in there, we talk about business, we sit down, we do the business and we leave. That simple. Here within America, you can't really do that because a lot of people got a lot of little games that they run in and they run in these bullshit ass clicks and you can't really get nothing done. Nah, man. The recruitment office is always open. The only thing you got to do is just keep our name out your mouth. We're not talking about you. Listen, man. Most of these dudes are going to stay here. That's fine. I say this. You have more access to what you want here. There's really no reason to be talking about us. A lot of these women need a lot of help. A lot of these women need six-figure dudes to come on deck and take care of their problems. I'm just saying this. I'm not responsible for those type of situations. I'm not going to be trying to fix those type of situations. I'm not going to be trying to cover those type of situations. I'm not going to be trying to troll those type of situations. I'm not doing any of that stuff. Todd, mate, thanks for coming through, man. Haven't seen you here. Thanks for coming through. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if y'all first time through. Like I said, it's going to stay a man's channel. We're not about the entertainment. We're not about the foolishness. We're not about any of that stuff. We should be able to talk about things in a decent manner and be able to move along with our lives. That's all. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, that is correct. Gene, what's going on? Thanks for, the, uh, thanks for coming through. Mr. P, you, you got to understand that uh, I'm telling you, the Arabs up there too, pretty decent dudes to work with. Hey, uh, Original D, uh, a lot of companies don't allow older trucks onto their uh, actual uh, business. So I would start calling around right now while your truck is in the shop. So that way, once your truck is out the shop, you can just sign it on with somebody. You'll be shocked and surprised, but a lot of people don't allow older equipment to be on there. Now, a lot of these container companies, I'm not sure where you're at, but a lot of these container companies will allow you to sign your truck onto their uh, company. But like most of the places won't allow you, not not for the truck that old. But I do wish you the best though. As a summer, thank you for the $10 super chat. It's always been these dudes that encourage and foster the culture of BS that exists now. They want younger guys to be effed up so they can't. Have, they don't have to look in the mirror. Yes, I do think a lot of these older dudes are trying to escort these dudes into their eventual pain. 
Yes, I even had older black men who tried to get me in some, too, some stupid shit like that. Yes, I had that happen. I did have that happen. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. They was trying to mess my life up. They was trying to get me to get their baby mama pregnant so that way I wouldn't have a future. And I would have to deal with these type of problems. Yes, men are actually doing this stuff to other men. Like, like, dude, like the like the original dating coach was your ain't shit uncle. That was the original dating coach. You know, the dude who never had his stuff together, always seemed to be around in the community at all times, types of during the day when actual school was going on. Yeah, that was the dude who was the original dating coach. I just want you to win out there, uh, original D. You know, I, I don't want you uh, messed up out there, man, because uh, a lot of people don't give up information to the younger generation when it comes to uh, trucking, man. I, I wish you all the best. I'm just trying to make sure that you got a good start because you can be up into five and six grand a week very easily. I, I know you didn't pay over 15 grand for that truck, especially not for that year, but you can have that money back in a month. Sign on to a company, you're probably paying like 150 a week in insurance probably uh, $300 in fees and you probably can still take home five or six grand at, well not now probably uh, four or five grand after the uh, fuels paid for I'm not sure what part of the country you're in but yeah that's what you got coming to you man Judge Webb what's going on man That's why I say, man, just trying to use these women for sex and all that type of dumbass shit. It, it don't make it, it doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense at all. Not now. It doesn't make any sense. We're just trying to be reasonable and competent out here. We ain't trying to get people up in, in, in arms and all this kind of other stuff. Like that's how your movement get compromised by letting anybody speak for your movement. We don't need an official group of people who's a part of this and who's not a part of it. Ask them where is their content about the actual subject and how long have they been making the content about the subject. If they haven't been making content about the subject, then they don't really care about the subject. It's all the cloud chase. Just like any other religious group, you need more skilled practicers. The people who claim it. You need more skilled practices. Gene, what's going on? Thanks for coming through. Top dog, thanks for coming through. So with that said, I got I gotta be able to get out of here. I got like another four hours of drive, so that way I can get to Dayton. So I could drop this trailer off and get back to uh St. Joseph, Missouri. So um with that said, I want to thank you guys for coming through. I want to thank everybody for liking the video. I want to thank everybody for super chatting. And we don't need to be trolling women, man. And Passport Bros and SYSBM is not meant to be a mainstream movement. That's a very good discussion that Curiosity Jones and, um, what was it? Damn, what's it doing, man? Sigma Jones was having, saying that most people are not going to be able to make it, even when they stay here. But you still got to be able to do something. You can't let these people just come through here and just win when you could be winning with them. You even have to separate yourself from people while even being here. If you can't separate yourself from people while being here, you're not going to be able to make it anyway. You're not going to have the same group of people when you start and when you end. I know they come. That's why I'm buying up all the real estate in the areas because I know where they're going to put them at. That's one of the benefits of working with the federal government. You know exactly what they're going to do. Because if you look at the rural South, with no jobs down there and everything hospitality-based, and even after COVID, those are going to be the people who are going to be getting that UBI stuff. So please, if, if you want to, to have a discussion of, about our movement that is not based on really telling us that we're some type of sex traffickers and all that type of nonsense, I don't have a problem jumping on panels and talking to people. But most of these men, even within this space, they cannot be trusted to talk to women on panels. They cannot. 
be trusted to talk to women on panel. I was looking at D Derail um, live stream earlier today, and there was this dude on the panel who was trying to make a random woman out of nowhere responsible for all the women's choices in society and how they pick a dude. He brought this up to a random woman on the panel that he didn't even know anything about. That's what I'm saying. Most of these people complaining ain't even got no experience with the women that they don't like. And if you'll come at a woman like that on a panel, then you'll come at a woman like that in real life, man. And that's just not a good look. You get your stuff together, man. It, it solves all problems. I want to thank you guys for coming through on the man tomorrow. You guys have a really nice rest of your Sunday night. Oh, ouch.